Hey guys, my name is Veronica and today I'm going to be doing a book outlet unboxing haul. It has been a long time since I've done a haul in general and an even longer time since I've done an unboxing haul. I got all of these books on Black Friday uh, and they came in the mail yesterday and I actually didn't open them. I was really proud of myself for that. Here's the box. Whoa. Let me also show you my naked body. Like, this is going to be a surprise for you and for me, because I don't know, man. Okay, the first book that I have is Crest by Marissa Meyer. I'm sure that most of you know this is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. Oh, do I really own them all now? This is my whole series. Cool. So, Cinder and Winter are both hardback, and Scarlet and Crest are both paperback. And they're also different sizes in paperback. I should have just bought this in hardback and then I would have had three in hardback and Scarlet would have just been like weird. I now have all four in the Lunar Cycle. Lunar Chronicles. Whatever I'm saying. The fourth book is the only one I haven't read. I already read Chris. And I hate buying books that I've already read, but did it. I don't really fancy this cover, but I didn't fancy any of the covers, so. And that's Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. It says on the back that it's an unflinching document that gives lasting and specific dimension to our definitions of sane and insane mental illness and recovery. Which is really good because I want to work in something like a psychiatric ward one day, so this is going to be a really, really interesting read for me. Next book I have is The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filler. Filer. This book I marked on my to read on Goodreads a long time ago, and I remember just like marking it because I was like, yes, that's it, I want to read it. Reading the back of this, I don't think the description it gives is as good as the one that was on Goodreads um, because I don't feel as compelled right now, but I, I still want to read it because I remember really wanting to read it when I first read the description. And I, from what I gathered from the back, it sounds like it's about these two brothers who run away from home one night, they sneak out, and then only one of them comes back. The next two books I have are Fractured and Shattered by Terry Terry, and these books are the second and third that follow Slated by Terry Terry, which I also have. I read this a few years ago, and I really loved it. I really love Slated, and I've been meaning to buy these for a long time. If you don't know what Slated's about, it's like this, this world where if you're like a bad kid, you essentially get like rewired and then put back into society. Um, and the main girl in this one, Kyla, that's what happened to her. Um, but she, it like wasn't successful with her. Like she knows that something's up. She knows that her memory was slated for a reason. And I ordered everything I never told you. And I was like, I don't like this cover. I like the other one better, but whatever, I'll get it. I do already have it. And the better cover. I hate myself. Yeah. I did it twice. In one order. I think I bought both of these the last time I went to my local used bookstore. Well, this one and everything I never told you. And just, like, forgot that I did it. By the way, this is... This is also... I'll give you the sun. This is the one I just got from Book Outlet. This is the one I already owned. This book that I have, I also already own, but I didn't act, this was not an accident. <laughs> that book is You by Carolyn Kepnes. This is my copy that I already owned. This copy I just bought from Book Outlet because I wanted to give it to a friend for Christmas. She's a big reader and she really likes, um, like, kind of mystery and just kind of like creepy stuff. And this is about, like, it's from like the viewpoint of a stalker and it sounds really interesting. And I mentioned it to her when I bought it, and she said that it sounded really good, so I thought that I would buy it for her and give it to her for Christmas. I have another friend, a different friend, who this was on her to read on Goodreads, and so I got it so that we could read it together, or just both read it. <laughs> and that book is I Was Here by Gail Foreman. We're both pretty big Gail Foreman fans. Really, really, really loved the Just One Day duology. Um, I know this was going to be very different than the Just One Day duology and the If I Stay duology, but I want to go ahead and try it. Just to see. I know there were a lot of mixed reviews on Goodreads about it and on YouTube about it. 
Um, so I'm interested to form my own opinions. I know that this has to do with a girl whose friend commits suicide, but then she's not 100% sure if it was a suicide, so it's kind of got some mystery in there also. The next book I have is What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick, and this one is the sequel to My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Um, I have not read this one yet, so I shouldn't have bought the sequel, but I'm hoping to read them back to back maybe in the summer. Plus, look, how do you not buy them? How do you not have both of them? They're so cute together. Then I have The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Um, I have bought this book before, but I bought it for a friend. I didn't buy it for myself, and I actually remember that, so thank goodness. Um, I'm really excited to read this because I really, really, really enjoyed Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. It sounds like a similar story, too, um, because it's about a girl who, like, lives in her comfort zone, and then, for some reason or another, she's thrown out of that and has to, like, become her own person. Alright, the next one I have is Calling Maggie May by Anonymous, um, and this is another one that's in the tradition of Go Ask Alice. I have almost all of them, if not all of them. I love these. I love the way they look. I've only read two of them. I've read Letting In A Go and Go Ask Alice. I haven't read the others, but I keep buying them just because I know I'm going to read them. This might be about a girl who's a prostitute. That's it. All the book outlet books are in my floor. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick them up now. Even though there's no room on any of my shelves. It's all good. Life is good. I have new books. I hope you all enjoyed this haul. Um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!